Hey everyone, Jeremy here from United Niagara Online Training. And first, just to make sure, yesterday we put out two videos. Okay, the first one was our how to tie our belt video, and the second one was our self-defense video. Okay, so if you missed either one of those, make sure you go back to our channel and check those out. Okay, what's on tap for today? We have four things that we want to accomplish in today's lesson. We are going to start off with a guard passing drill, followed by two submission techniques, and then we're going to finish off with a new variation of push-ups for you guys to try at home. Okay, I look forward to seeing everybody's pics and videos of what they're working on. All right, remember to stay out there and stay strong. Let's go attack. Okay, guys, here we are. United Niagara, online training, I'm Jeremy, I'm joined by Mr. William, and our first drill today is a guard passing drill, okay? And it's called the monkey drill, all right? So what we're gonna do, the goal of this is to get around William's legs and pass to the side, okay? So for me to do this, what we're gonna do is you guys at home are gonna start with one hand in the middle, and one hand on the knee, okay? And then all you gotta do is push yourself to the side so you've passed, okay? And then to switch sides, you will go other hand down in the middle, on top of the knee, and push to pass all the way to the side, okay? So, hand in the middle, hand on the knee, and pass the guard. Hand down, knee, and pass the guard. Hand down, knee, pass the guard. Okay? Once again, this is the monkey drill guard pass. All right? I'm going to do a few nice and fast. Enjoy. Okay, guys. What I recommend for you guys at home, time yourselves. 60 seconds, and let's do three rounds of that. Once again, monkey drill, guard pass. Go get it. Okay, guys, welcome back. And so today, we are going to show you guys two different ways that you can get into your double wrist lock. All right, so the first one's going to be from side mount, and the second one is going to be from top mount. So let's check it out. So we just did those monkey drills. So... After you pass the person's guard, you're going to establish side control. So the way Mr. William is going to do side control, first of all, he's going to make sure he's got nice wide knees, nice wide base. He's going to get an under hook on the far side and head control with his other arm. Okay, he claps his hands together, so this is a nice strong grip. Once again, he has an under hook and head control. Okay, and notice his knee is north of my head over here, so his wide base his knee is north of the, my head. So that way, if I'm struggling and trying to get out, William has great control. Okay? So, double wrist lock number one. He is going to let go of the underhook control. He's going to bring it outside, and with his elbow, he's going to take his elbow anywhere on my face, whether it be in my eye, my cheek, my ear, and he's going to put a lot of pressure so that way I'm going to want to get up and grab his arm. Okay, so we like to call that the mouse trap. And now he's got my one wrist, he can automatically go pin it to the floor, wrapping his other wrist, and now he has the double wrist lock. For you guys who are new to double wrist lock, he's got my wrist and he's got his own wrist. Okay, so once again, let's just go to the setup. So from head and arm control of side control, he's going to bring his head control arm out, use his elbow to create some pain and get a reaction of me wanting to get rid of his arm. And then he can lock up his control and pin the submission. Now to finish, the way we like to explain it is my fingertips are the bristles and my arm is the handle of a paintbrush. So he's got the bristles on the floor, he lifts the handle to the sky, and then you will paint the floor to get the submission. 
Okay, one more time. He's going to make sure the bristles are on the floor. He lifts the handle to the sky and then paints the floor. Okay, go back from side control. Okay, so he's got head and arm. Notice William's head is nice and tight, so I'm not throwing strikes at him. He's got good base, so I can't escape. When he feels me kind of just chilling, he's going to get that arm out. He's going to cause some pain to get the reaction. And then he's going to go right into the double wrist lock. Lift the handle, paint the floor, and get the tap out. Okay? So let's do one nice and regular speed so you guys can see. Okay, guys, so there you have it. That is double wrist lock from side control. All right, hit the video on pause, guys. Rule of 10, let's go over it. Make sure you got the side control. Go over just the double wrist lock. Remember, if you're working on a partner, nice and slow, every move you guys do is control. Okay, and so for the partners, when the move hurts, make sure you tap on your partner. Okay, so double wrist lock from side control. Make sure you're using those nice elbows, causing some pain to make a reaction. All right, they're set up for your double wrist lock. Number one, we will see you back in a moment for number two. Go practice. Okay, welcome back everybody to our second setup for our double wrist locks. All right, this time we're gonna actually use a little bit of our striking to set up our double wrist locks. And if you tuned in yesterday, you saw the exact same thing as our striking was setting up our clinches and our takedowns. Okay, so we're gonna do the exact same for our double wrist lock right now. We're gonna change out the position a little bit. We're gonna go from top mount. So if Mr. William top mounts me, he's gonna get both legs on either side, arms nice and wide, and his head down. Okay, so he's established a great dominant position against me. All right, so right now he is going to sit all the way up. Okay, he's going to get his hands up and start throwing palm strikes at my face. This will get the reaction of me wanting to block my face. Okay, and as soon as my hands go up, he is now going to pick an arm. He is going to get wrist control and an elbow control, so he's got a two on one. This is what's most important. It is two of his arms against one of mine. Now between that and William's weight and gravity, he's gonna drive towards the floor and making sure that this elbow locked in really close to my ear. Now it's the exact same as the last move. He's gotta get his wrist as well, so he's going to go palm up entry. Watch his palm go under my arm and then grab his own wrist. So for this double wrist lock, once again, he's got his wrist, he's got my wrist, and the same as my paint bristles are on the floor, he lifts the handle and he'll slide painting the floor to get the tap. Okay, resetting, back to the top mount. So William's established really good control. He sits all the way up and he's going to start throwing palm strikes to make me defend. And then he can isolate my one arm by doing the two on one, driving it all the way to the floor, making sure he establishes his own wrist control. So he's going to slide under my arm and grab his wrist. And then bristles on the floor, paintbrush up and paint it. Okay, we'll do it one time slow, one time fast.
Okay, guys, there is your second submission for today. All right, so you accomplished getting your double wrist lock from that first elbow, creating a little bit of pain, and then from your palm strikes, getting your opponent to defend. Okay, two ways to get to your double wrist lock. All right, again, I want a big thank you to Mr. William for being my partner today. You guys can go practice that rule of 10. And we've only also just showed the one side. Uh, when you're doing the top mount, you can palm strike, go to the left, palm strike, go to the right. So practice 10 on each side for those. Okay, there's your martial arts. I want you guys to hit the video on pause and practice. And then stay tuned. Come on back as we got some fitness coming for you right after that. All right, guys. Take care. Have a great day. Okay, guys. So for today's fitness, I am going to give you guys a variation of a scorpion push-up for you guys to try. Okay? So first of all, you're going to be basically doing a normal push-up. So, But what you're going to do is you are going to lift your left leg as you look over your right shoulder. Okay, and then when you do your next push up, when you go, you're gonna lift your right leg up and look over your left shoulder. Okay, so here's a few. So start in your normal push up position, and as you go down, left leg is coming up, look over your right shoulder, and then come back. Okay, going down again, right leg comes up, look over left shoulder. Okay, left leg, right shoulder, right leg, left shoulder. Okay, I'll do a few. Okay, from side view, push a position, left leg, right shoulder, right leg, left shoulder. Okay. Here's a few fast for you. All right, guys, there is your fitness for today. Hey, rule of 10. Try to get 10 of those in, guys. All right, and for you who are a little bit more advanced, do sets of 10. All right. Have a great one, guys. We will check you later.